Welcome back to another video tutorial brought to you by thevirtualinstructor.com. Today we're covering basic pen and ink techniques. Pen and ink is a popular drawing media and the first technique we're going to talk about is hatching. And hatching is where you have straight lines that go in the same direction. By placing the lines closer together you create darker values. By allowing some space you make lighter values and all of us have probably heard of the artist Albrecht Dürer who created a lot of woodcuts and engravings and he used hatching quite a bit in his engravings and his woodcuts. Now the next technique we're going to talk about is cross hatching. And cross hatching starts out like hatching, but you may cross the lines over each other. And the more you cross the lines over each other, the darker the value gets. And you can make your lines go in all different types of directions, but mostly these lines are straight. Here's another example from Dewar, and we see a lot of cross hatching in this example. Now, if you decide to let the lines go a little bit crazy, um, you can create random lines to create value. And uh, obviously, the more those lines cross over each other, the darker the value is going to get. You don't have to stay kind of restricted to those straight lines as you do in hatching and cross hatching. Kind of can create some texture there too by just making some squiggly lines and just kind of making them random. last technique I'm going to share with you is called stippling. And stippling is where you make a lot of small dots and the closer you put those dots together the darker the value gets. Obviously stippling takes a little bit longer to do. Here's an example from Francesco Bartolozzi um, using stippling. Now like I said stippling is very time consuming but it does allow you to have great control over your range of value. So you can really build up that, that value and have complete control over it so you can really make some very uh, realistic looking pen and ink drawings with stippling. I've also seen stippling done with colored inks and that creates quite a unique result, much like pointillism. And I hope these ink techniques help you out. This has been another video tutorial brought to you by the virtualinstructor.com. 